Okay. Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to a special episode of Recipe of the Day. It is a special Valentine's show. I've been missing you guys and I've had a lot of requests. So I'm doing a very special Valentine's show in honor of Valentine's Day this weekend. And we are going to be making three fun things, an easy appetizer for you and your sweetheart. And then a really, really fun skillet dessert in this awesome Le Creuset heart-shaped pan that I just love. I'm so excited. And then we are going to be making a special cocktail, of course, for this special occasion. So I'm going to get started here with our appetizer, but let me get you up here in front of me so I can see my people, because I miss my people, and uh, get you up here. So hold and give me just a second for technology here. There you are. Okay, how is everyone today? I have missed you guys. We are going to be making a yummy, oops, you just went away. Hold on a sec second, there you are, so I can see you. Comment and send me some hearts so I know you're there if you're watching this on replay. Hashtag replay, because we always like to see our people, whether you're here live or not. Um, hey Sandy, how are you? And Nancy, welcome. So I'm going to start, we're going to be making this appetizer that was so delicious. I tested both of these re uh, recipes over the weekend and they were both two thumbs up. So I'm going to be making this yummy prosciutto and brie appetizer that I'm going to make first so we can put it in the oven real quick so it, we can pull it out while you guys are still here. And this is easy and delicious. I make this brie and jalapeno and nuts appetizer that I make all the time and people request it all the time. So I just, I saw this recipe and I thought, well, this is a great twist on that. So this is going to be a little apricot jam going down on our, and I just bought, I like the ciabatta, but whatever you like uh, to slice for appetizer, little rounds, you can use baguette. This is ciabatta from Trader Joe's, um, but whatever you have, whatever you like, go for it. So I'm going to spread a little bit of apricot jam on the bottom of these slices here. How are you, Sandy? How's the weather there? It has looked very cold lately. Oh my goodness. We actually got some rain a couple weeks ago. I'm going to pull this back a little bit. Okay, so apricot jam going on there. And then, of course, a little brie that I have pre-sliced. And I sliced the rind off just because it's not my favorite, but I'm going to put a slice of brie on. Oh my gosh, these are going to be so yummy! A little brie, and of course my favorite is the end, so I put the end on here. And then a little slice of prosciutto. Now I have pre-sliced these into just a little piece. Oops, fall apart. A little piece of prosciutto on here. Oh my gosh, yum! We'll give that to that one and easy because you could assemble these a little bit before you're if you're having company or you have a family or you're making more things then you can assemble these ahead of time which is another reason why I like this appetizer because it's easy. Hey Denise how are you? We are making some Valentine's Day treats. This is an appetizer of a little apricot jam and some brie and a little prosciutto Yum. Let me get one more on here and then we will toss this in the oven and I will show you how I'm going to finish these. Oh my gosh. Yum. Oh my gosh. Those look yummy or what? Uh, yeah. Yum. Already. Let's <laughs> put these in. So my timer here. Let's set that for just a couple minutes. Start. So don't forget those. Don't forget those, director. And next, we're going to be making this awesome Le Creuset heart-shaped pan pazuki. So we're going to be making a cookie dough and cheesecake um, skillet dessert. So you can make this, of course, in this awesome pan. Um, these were available at the outlet, and I ran uh, over there. I saw this on What's Gabi Cooking and just had to go get these pans. They're awesome. Of course, I had to buy two. Um, so I'm going to be make, using these. And so let me get them both over here. Trying to keep everything right in front of me, my director, and my butter that I used to make the cookie dough because I made it already because you guys know how to make cookie dough. But I will, of course, post the recipe here. And I'm going to use my uh, wrap from the butter and butter my pan. So that's just a little trick that I do. Every, nothing goes to waste. So those my pans are buttered and ready. 
and I have my cookie dough here. Now what I did for this cookie dough, um, I changed her recipe a little bit because you know to me what's a recipe but just a guide or inspiration. But um, I did make this with chocolate chips when I was testing it and today I made it with um, Reese's peanut butter cups and Oreos because guess what I discovered? I discovered, which I didn't even know existed, gluten-free Oreos. Now, you know, sometimes I'm gluten-free, sometimes not, but I just discovered these. So if you're gluten-free and you didn't know, they have them. Of course, being gluten-free for like 25 or 30 years, they didn't have anything good back then. Um, but this dough is, I made it gluten-free. And what I do to do that for my gluten-free peeps, I just replace and use Pamela's for basically everything you use for flour. So there's my gluten-free tip. Now what I don't know, and I didn't look up, is whether Reese's peanut butter cups are gluten-free. They're probably not. Um, but that's what's in here. So instead of chocolate chips, about a half a cup of largely chopped up um, Reese's and four Oreos chopped up is in our dough. So we're going to make our cheesecake layer. So I'm going to take about a half a stick of cream cheese. And come on down, you want to be on the show? My teenager just poked his head around the corner, but then he disappeared. <laughs> oh, so I'm going to put about a half a stick of cream cheese in there and let me check I hear our timer's going off hold on let's check our appetizer oh my goodness yum you know what my ham sliding off oh my gosh you guys look look at that I'm gonna turn off the timer and turn that off get my pan here so I'm about to make cheesecake but I will show you this real quick because I have it out I'll fix these before I move, I know there's a quick cook so quick. See, two minutes under the broiler, and they are ready. Oh my gosh, the breeze smells so good. Yum. Because what's not, <laughs> what's better than melted brie? <laughs> hey guys. Hey, Anne Marie, how are you? How is everyone doing today? So to finish these, I am going to do a little jalapeno. Now you could use green onion if you want. But around here, we love jalapeno. So I'm gonna put jalapeno in there and then I'm gonna put a little drizzle of honey. Now if I could find, which I've seen before in some of the, the spicy honey, but I haven't found it yet. So just a little drizzle of honey for your garnish and there you go, quick and easy, delicious and crowd pleaser um, appetizer. So yum, I'll slip that off to the side here. Wait, oh, what'd you say? Close it? Okay. Director wa wants it closed. Okay, back to cheese steak. So in here, half a uh, block of cream cheese, room temperature, key to, cream to cheesecake, room temperature. And then I have a room temperature egg that I'm going to put in here. Hey, Kelsey, how are you? Welcome. I'm going to put a quarter cup of sugar in here. Oh my goodness. And I one egg yolk, so I'm going to um, separate my egg here with you guys watching, so cross your fingers. <laughs> oh, oh my goodness, yum! Okay, one egg yolk going in, and let's move that out of the way over here. And then, it's off my hands. Do you guys have any special plans for Valentine's Day? And a little bit of vanilla. Hey Lisa, how are you? We are making Valentine's treats today, and I'm gonna put, oh, about a half a teaspoon, you know me, generous on the vanilla, because I like it. And I'm gonna put a pinch of salt. This recipe didn't call for it, but I think a pinch of salt always brings out the flavor of everything when you're using sugar. So a little pinch, and I'm gonna whip that, so. Watch your ears there for a second. <laughs> and let that whip up. Okay, so while that is whipping, I'm going to start pressing my cookie dough. So, in my cute heart pans here, how, so awesome. I mean, I saw her make these, I'm like, you know what? I just have to have those pans, I love them. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, that needs to whip. My cream cheese is room temperature, but I don't want it to be lumpy. So here I'm going to take my cookie dough that I have um, Reese's 
peanut butter cup and Oreos in this cookie dough. And we're going to press it into our pan and make a little crust if you want, a little bottom. Now this recipe that was uh, on her website, it had, hey Florence, how are you? It had, this recipe was for one of these tart pans, but when I tested it on the weekend, I made two out of it. So if you're making this in a round, you can make it in an iron, a cast iron skillet. You can make it in a, in a cake pan. You make it in whatever you have. So you don't have to have these darling pans, but you know, I had to have them. Oh my goodness. So I'm just pressing in my cookie dough. Oh my gosh. Yum. Put a little bit more in the bottom of this one because I can feel. I'm trying to get them even here so they cook the same. Oh my gosh. Yum. Okay. Now, how do those look? Check it out. Yum! How many comments on Instagram? Can you see my Instagrammer? Who's watching on Instagram? My Insta people. Okay, and our cheesecake filling here. Oh my goodness. We've got it going on here. Yummy. Use my same tool here. Oh my gosh. Yum! And I'm going to take my cheesecake filling and put some in each side. Now, this recipe was for one of these pans. Just keep that in mind. And when I made it the first time, I'm like, that seems like plenty enough for both pans to me. So, you can see it's plenty for whatever kind of vehicle you want to make this in. It would work. Definitely cast iron pan would work great for this. And everybody loved it. So we have tested it. It was successful. So now I'm sharing it with you guys. Oh my goodness. How yummy does this look? You probably can't see because the cookie dough's in the way. Let's get it all out here. Yeah. Yummy. Especially cheesecake lovers, because of course, you know, I'm a cookie lover. But, you know, <laughs> throw a little cheesecake and cookie together, it's all, it's all good, right? Oh my goodness. Yum! Okay. That's good. So now we're going to take the rest of our cookie dough. Hold on, let me get this out of the way here. And I'm going to take the rest of my cookie dough, and we are going to crumble it on top. So again, you guys have just hopped on. I am making, this cookie dough has Oreos and Reese's peanut butter cups instead of chocolate chips. Now, of course, you could use chocolate chips, whatever is your pleasure. Toffee chips, peanut butter chips, whatever you like, you can do that. Oh my goodness. Yum! And I can tell you, these are yummy. We don't have time to bake these on the show, so then when they're done, you put them in the oven for 20 to 30 mi uh, minutes until the cookie, you know, looks golden brown and looks done. The middle might look a little jiggly as cheesecake does, but, you know, it's delicious. Oh my gosh, look at that. Yummy! Valentine's skillet yumminess for Valentine's Day. So if you're just cooking for you and your sweetheart, one might be, be, be enough. Then again, you each might need your own. <laughs> or if you're cooking for your family, you can make it in a larger pan and everyone can just dig in. Um, serve this warm with a couple scoops of vanilla ice cream and you are good to go. So yummy. I'll leave one of those over here so you guys can see what we made here. And I'm going to move on to our celebratory cocktail. So let's make a cocktail. Well, I risk the cookie dough off my hands here. I don't need cookie dough in my cocktail. Oh my gosh. Hey, Natalie, how are you? Hey, Lisa, congratulations. Lisa had a baby this morning. She is beautiful. I just saw your picture right before I started the live. So congratulations. Um, she is beautiful. Welcome to the world. 
on this beautiful day, Sierra. She is beautiful. She's got the most beautiful cheeks. And mom and baby are doing great. I'm happy to report. So all is well. I'm so happy for them. So congratulations. I can't wait to meet her. Um, so moving on to the cocktail. So here we go. I've got ice in my shaker. Start with ice. And then of course, we're going to have a little, whoops, a little vodka. And Cointreau. And of course, this is cranberry ginger soda from Trader Joe's. It is so delicious. It is awesome. So I decided this inspired my cocktail. I'm going to put a little pomegranate in there. And uh, where's my glass? Here it is. I'm going, to, <laughs> I'm going to rim my glass for this cocktail with candied ginger. Yummy. Because I love ginger. Which, which do you want closer? Everything? Okay, director is giving me direction. There, there we go. Okay. So let me rim my glass here. This is going to be a test to see if my, <laughs> if my candy ginger is going to stick. So we'll see. I chopped it very, very small. Hey, Betty, how are you? So we're just going to make our celebratory cocktail here. We're going to rim our glass. Let's see if it's going to stick. Yeah, that's what I was afraid of. <laughs> I was afraid it might not stick too well. So maybe I'll put some on top. Hold on. <laughs> Uh-oh, I had a vision. So I should probably, let's see, let's try this because it's right here. I'm going to put a little sugar with this to give it a little more oomph to stick with. Oh, that's better. Okay, so add a little sugar to the ginger and it gets a little stickier. And in the meantime, you have some sugar on your rim. So we have a sugar and ginger candy ginger rim going on there. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. Okay, so in our cocktail, I'm going to put some vodka, and to my measure, of course, one shot is one-eighth of a cup, so I'm just going to measure this, because you guys are watching. <laughs> so let's put two shots of vodka. I'm going to put one of Cointreau, which is orange-flavored liqueur, which is my favorite. You can't have a margarita without Cointreau, right? So let's put that in. One shot of that, and then I'm going to put um, a little bit of pomegranate juice just to make it holiday Valentine's-y red. So you definitely don't want to serve these on your white couches. <laughs> pomegranate juice, very hard to get out. Uh, and then I'm going to top it with this cranberry ginger soda. Yummy. We're going to give that a shake, and then we will have our pink cocktail for Valentine's Day. So what are you guys doing for Valentine's Day? Give that a shake, get everything all mixed up and cold for our ginger, cranberry, pomegranate, yummy Cosmo, martini I guess we'll call it. Hey Juanita, how are you? Happy Valentine's Day to everyone. See that pretty? Oh my gosh. Got my inspiration for this in the checkout line at Trader Joe's because you just never know where you're going to get your inspiration. <laughs> so let's try my little cocktail I made up. Ooh, that's delicious. Yummy. That is just yummy. So pretty pink cocktail. My candy ginger uh, martini. Mmm. That is awesome. Okay. Yum. So for our birthday shout outs today, fill that up for the camera. See all the things we made today. Let's see, director giving me direction here. Oh my gosh, Juanita, how are you? So we have our yummy brie and um, prosciutto and jalapeno yummy appetizers, easy. How long did that take? Like five, mi five minutes to make those, including cooking time. And then our um, Le Creuset cookie dough cheesecake skillets and then our awesome and pink um, ginger candy ginger cocktail. So that was today's show. I need another sip. Mmm. Yummy. So let me grab my birthday shout out hat and I have this awesome hat my sister sent me for birthday shout outs. So <laughs> this 
so cool. I know, it's awesome. I love it. So birthday shout outs today, because I'm doing this show in February, I'm going to do a shout out to everyone whose birthday is in February, because you know the coolest people were born in February, you know, like me, my birthday month is February, so happy birthday to me and all the February people. Um, if I give time, I might do a drawing for all the February birthdays and do something special for you guys. Um, it has been crazy busy in my day job, in my real job, my real estate job. If you know anyone thinking about um, buying or, se or selling, definitely let us know. It's crazy out there. Sellers are getting multiple offers and interest rates are so low. Um, but I just had to have, show you guys my awesome hat again. Um, and then I have one more tip that I wanted to share. I have discovered, you know I'm a cookie person. And I have discovered these are called the very best cookie in the whole wide world. Now this is an Oreo Rice Krispie Treat. Yes, your head just exploded. They are the best. And I um, signed up with her uh, cookie subscription box. So I have signed up uh, a few people for this. It is so delicious. And I just wanted to let you guys know she's local in Los Angeles, but she ships all over the place. And she and I have been communicating a lot online. She's awesome. And she started her company during COVID and her cookies and her brownies and these Rice Krispie Treats are totally delicious and she does do gluten free too. So just a little shout out for her and I will tag her in this so she can see. Um, and just wanted to let you guys know when you find something as awesome as this that is revolves around a cookie, I have to let you know, right? So um, good to see you guys. Thanks for watching. It's been a while. I've missed you and thank you for all your um, show ideas, suggestions. Keep them coming. Um, we are definitely do a show for St. Patrick's Day. And we are doing real estate shows on Wednesdays and Saturdays, so you can see us um, here also talking about real estate. So we love you guys. Have a wonderful, happy Valentine's Day. Send some love to someone. Pick up a card and send them a card. Give someone a hug. Check on your elderly neighbors and just spread love all weekend long. We have a holiday weekend here in the U.S. Monday is a holiday. So take advantage of that extra day and send your love in all ways. So thanks for watching. We look forward to seeing you again soon. You can visit us at GaryandLisa.com. Your Real Estate Edge. Happy Valentine's Day.